We find ourselves amidst the liturgy of the hours, and so we're praying morning prayer on Holy Saturday morning, and hopefully everybody's got a little pamphlet to follow along. And uh, this side is the south side. This side is the north side. And so I'll be leading the north when we come time for the Psalms, and he'll be leading the south side. And so we can just pray through this, and then immediately after following uh, morning prayer, those of you who will be received into the church, um, we'll have a practice and go through the liturgy, uh, which is a little complex, but it uh, should be a lot of fun. Please stand. And so if you have the prayers, you have the responses to those prayers. It's got a little dash on it. As I invite everybody to pray, then you'll just follow along. Okay. Do you need a booklet? There, there was some in the back, yeah. on the back table. And as we do this introductory part of the prayer, we, it's customary to make the sign of the cross. So I say the first line, then everybody responds. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now Christ, O Son of Righteousness, let dawn our darkened spirits bless. The light of grace to us restore, while day to earth returns once more. To us you give the accepted time. Give to a heart that mourns for crime. Let those by mercy now be cured whom loving kindness long endured. Spare not, we pray, to send us here some penance kindly but severe. So let your gift of pardoning grace our grievous sinfulness efface. Soon will that day your day appear and all things with its brightness cheer. We will rejoice in it as we return thereby to grace and thee. Let all the world from shore to shore, O gracious Trinity, adore. Right soon your loving pardon grant that we our new made song may chant. Amen. Though sinless the Lord has been put to death, the world is in mourning as for an only son. Please be seated. And I'll start the north side and we'll alternate side to side. Hear my voice, O God, as I complain. Guard my life from the dread of the foe. Hide me from the band of the wicked, from the throng of those who do evil. They sharpen their tongues like swords. They aim bitter words like arrows to shoot at the innocent from ambush, shooting suddenly and recklessly. They scheme their evil course. They conspire to lay secret snares. They say, who will see us? Who can search out our crimes? He will search who searches the mind and knows the depths of the heart. God has shot them with his arrow and dealt them sudden wounds. Their own tongue has brought them to ruin, and all who seek them mock. Then will all men fear. They will tell what God has done. They will understand God's deeds. The just will rejoice in the Lord and fly to him for refuge. All the upright hearts will glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, as it, was it was in the beginning, in the beginning is, is now, now and will, and be, will forever. be forever. Amen. Amen. Father, you gave your son victory over men who plotted evil against him. When he cried to you in his agony, you delivered him from fear of his enemies. May those who suffer with him in this life find refuge and success in you. Though sinless, the Lord has been put to death. The world is in mourning as for an only son. From the jaws of hell, Lord, rescue my soul.
I was living, I was dead, and I hold the keys of death. Once I said in the noontime of life I must depart, to the gates of the netherworld I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling, like a shepherd's tent, is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion he breaks all my bones. Day and night you give me over to torment. Like a swallow I utter shrill cries. I moan like the dove. My eyes grow weak gazing heavenward. O oh Lord, I am in straits, be my surety. You have preserved my life from the pit of destruction. When you cast behind your back all my sins. For it is not by the nether world that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you. Neither do those who go down into the pit await your kindness. The living, the living give you thanks as I do today. Father declare to their sons, fathers declare to their sons, O oh God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. We shall sing to stringed instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, as it was, was in the beginning, the beginning is, is now, now and, and will, will be, be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Together, from the, from jaws, the jaws of, of hell, hell Lord, Lord, rescue Lord, my, my soul. soul. I was dead, but now I live forever, and I hold the keys of death and of hell. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his holy place. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his powerful deeds. Praise his surpassing greatness. Oh, praise him with the sound of trumpet. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with thimbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipes. Oh, praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with clashing of cymbals. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was as in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now will and be will be forever. forever. Amen. Lord God, maker of heaven and earth and of all created things, you make your just ones holy and you justify sinners who confess your name. Hear us as we humbly pray to you. Give us eternal joy with your saints. I was, I was dead, dead, but, but now, now I, live I live forever, forever and, and I hold the keys, keys of death, death and of hell. A reading from Hosea. Thus says the Lord, in their affliction, they shall look for me. Come, let us return to the Lord, for it is he who has rent, but he will heal us. He has struck us, but he will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days. On the third day, he will raise us up to live in his presence. The word of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Antiphon. And together we pray the antiphon. For our, our sake, sake, Christ, Christ was obedient, was obedient even to death, even death, death, death on, on a cross. cross. Therefore, Therefore God has raised, raised him on high and, and gave, gave him the, the name above, above all other names. names. Just to ask everybody to remain seated just for a few moments. And <coughs> before we get to the intercessions, I'm just going to read an ancient homily from the first century. It's a powerful homily. They don't know who exactly wrote it, but it's just a, an amazing homily. And as I said, it's from an ancient homily on Holy Saturday. It's titled, The Lord's Descent into Hell. What is happening? Today there's a great silence over the earth, a great silence and stillness, a great silence because the king sleeps. The earth was in terror and was still because God slept in the flesh and raised up those who were sleeping from the ages. God has died in the flesh and the underworld has trembled. Today he goes to seek out our first parents like a lost sheep. He wishes to visit those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. He goes to free the prisoner Adam and his fellow prisoner Eve from their pains he who is God and Adam's son. The Lord goes in to them holding the, his victorious weapon, his cross. When Adam, the first created man, sees him, 
He strikes his breast in terror and calls out to all, my Lord be with you all. And Christ in reply says to Adam, and with your spirit. And grasping his hand, he raises him up saying, awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead and Christ shall give you light. I am your God, who for your sake became your son, who for you and your descendants now speak and command with authority those in prison. Come forth, and those in darkness have light, and those who sleep rise. I command you, awake sleeper, I have not made you to be held a prisoner in the underworld. Arise from the dead, I am the life of the dead, Arise, O man, work of my hands, arise. You who were fashioned in my image, rise. Let us go hence. For you in me and I in you, together we are all one undivided person. For you, I, your God, became your son. For you, I, the master, took on your forms, that of a slave. For you, I, who am above the heavens, came on earth and under the earth. For you, a um, for you, man, I became as a man without help, free among the dead. For you who left a garden, I was handed over to the Jews from a garden and crucified in a garden. Look at the spittle on my face, which I received because of you, in order to restore you to that first divine inbreathing in creation. See the blows on my cheeks, which I accepted, in order to refashion your distorted form from my own image. See the scourging of my back, which I accepted in order to disperse the load of your sins, which was laid upon your back. See my hands nailed to a tree for a good purpose, for you who stretched out your hand to a tree for an evil one. I slept on the cross and a sword pierced my side for you who slept in paradise and brought forth Eve from your side. My side healed the pain in your side. My sleep will release you from, from your sleep in Hades. My sword has checked the sword which was turned against you. But arise, let us go hence. The enemy brought you out of the land of paradise. I will reinstate you no longer in paradise, but on the throne of heaven. I denied you the tree of life, which was a figure but now I myself am united to you. I who am life, I posted the cherubim to guard you as they would slaves, as they would slaves. Now I make the cherubim worship you as they would God. The cherubim throne has been prepared. The bears are ready and waiting. The bridal chamber is in order. The food is provided. The everlasting houses and rooms are in readiness. The treasures of the good things have been opened. The kingdom of heaven has been prepared before all the ages. They so said this was a homily in the first century, and it speaks of just God's great saving plan for us and how he has prepared a place for us in heaven. Please stand as we bring our prayers of intercession before the Lord. But first, we stand and pray the gospel canticle. Save us, O Lord. Save us, O Savior of the world. On the cross, you redeemed us by your shedding of your blood. We cry out for your help, with, for your help O God. And as we begin this prayer, we just make the sign of the cross, and we all pray it together. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a Savior, a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He, he promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. And together we pray the antiphon, 
Save us, O Savior of the world. On the cross, you redeemed us by the shedding of your blood. We cry out for your help, O God. Our Redeemer suffered and was buried for us in order to rise again. With sincere love, we adore him, and aware of our need, needs, we cry out. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ our Savior, your sorrowing mother stood by you at your death and burial. In our sorrows, may we share your suffering. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ our Lord, like a seed buried in the ground, you brought forth for the harvest of grace. May we die to sin and live for God. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, a good shepherd, in death you laid hidden from the world. Teach us to live a life hidden with you in the Father. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, the new Adam, you entered the kingdom of death to release all, the just since the beginning of the world. May all who die dead, may all who lie dead in sin hear your voice and rise to life. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, Son of the living God, through baptism we were buried with you. Risen also in baptism, may we walk in newness of life. Lord, have mercy on us. Let us also pray for all those who will be received into the church through baptism and also reception into the Catholic faith, that they may be drawn ever closer to Christ. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray that all corruption in our world be uncovered and those responsible for it lose their power and be, um, or be converted so that we can have leaders that respect life, religious liberty, and all this in accord with natural law. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy on us. And gathering all our prayers together, we pray, Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, be name. thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth, on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. All-powerful and ever-living God, your only Son went down among the dead and rose again in glory. In your goodness, raise up your faithful people, buried with him in baptism, to be one with him in, everla in the everlasting life of heaven, where he lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the all-powerful Lord bless us and protect us from all evil, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Great. Father Sunday should be here for confessions uh, between certainly 8.30 and 9.30. Um, and then also we're beginning our practice for um, these Easter Vigil. And after we get through the practice, those, of, those people that will be received into the church will have an opportunity to go to confession. Uh, so at this time, I would invite all those people who are participating in the vigil this evening to meet in the, the um, area back there. Grace Rybick is back there to try and fill in some information. I need to run over to the rectory and grab something real quick so we can just start updating our records, make sure we have all the contact information. Okay? Great. Thank you very much. <laughs> 